Hi, hello everybody, my name is Alexander Brumley and today I'm going to show you how to get that iconic cell shaded look from Telltale Games and my personal favorite video game, Borderlands. Before you start your cell shading process, you're going to want a nearly completed image. That means that your image should already be retouched, color graded, special effects, and cropped. Next, you'll want to combine your layers. The easy way to do this is as follows. Command A, which will select the image in front of you. Command Shift C, which will copy the image. And then Command V, which will paste a separate layer on your layers column. Click on the layer that you have just created and then press Command J. This will copy that layer. Next, you're going to go up to Filter. You're going to scroll down to Filter Gallery and a window should pop up. From there, on your right hand side, you're going to see folders. The folder that you are wanting is Sketch. Inside Sketch, you should see the filter called Stamps. Click on Stamps. Make sure that your image is also zoomed out all the way so you can see the effects it has. Next, go to the light and dark balance on your right hand side. This is where you'll control the thickness of your cell shaded lines. When playing around with the light and dark balance, keep in mind the outline of your models and props. This is what's going to give you that really nice cell shaded look. For more details, you'll be scaling down towards the lower numbers. There are different thicknesses to cell shading. So you'll be doing this process multiple times. Don't be alarmed that your image has turned black and white. This is why you made the copy. Go to your blend modes and scroll down to multiply. This will get rid of all the white in your image. Next, you want to make this layer a mask. So you're going to go down to the little box with a circle in it and click it. From there, you're going to click onto the white box that just appeared on your layer and then press Command I to invert it. Your white box should now be black. From here, click on your brush tool Make sure that your opacity and your flow is at 100% and your color is white. This is where the fun begins and we start painting back in the cell shaded filter we just got rid of. Like I said before, focus on the outline of your model and props. Also, don't be afraid to paint over the already cell shaded areas. This will just give it more of a pop. Now this will only be one layer of your cell shading process. If you want a really nice consistent look to the video games, you're going to have multiple layers of cell shading. On the first layer, I focused on my model and her giant prop. On the second layer, I wanted more details on the ground and foreground around her, so on the light and dark balance, I scaled it down to 2. Then I brought the opacity down. My next layer, I wanted to focus on the background and its shadows, so on the light and dark balance, I brought it up to 19, painted it in, and then brought down the opacity. Now the rest is up to you. And there you have it guys, I hope you learned something from this tutorial, and I will see you next time.